Well, LeBron always garners headlines. How about the real star of the show? DeMar DeRozan, a near triple-double. Here he is after the game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes, it was. What, what, what was the difference in the first half and the second half, defensively especially? Um, we kept building. We just kept building. Each quarter, we kind of made that push to be better and better. Um, understood what we was doing, and, you know, we kept picking it up, and we stayed with it. What were you feeling in that third quarter, man? Since that, you know, needed a spark, or did it just come natural? Um, a little bit of both. You know, um, whenever we down, you know, it's kind of natural with me to just try to be more aggressive, um, go out there, whether it's score, try to find guys, and, you know, just try to get us going. You know, we was stalling for a little bit. Um, so I just try to come out there and just get us going. Is there any truth to the rumor you brought that pounding the rock stuff from Toronto to teach power? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no. No, I didn't. <laughs> but, um, what can a um, team that's kind of learning its get up a game like this where you had to fight back from a... Uh, it's big. It's big. You know, um, this is our fifth game of the season. You know, um, you know, you got to kind of enjoy it because this is the beginning stages. And as long as we understand, um, we're going to continue to get better, continue to keep building and building. You know, give you a, a, a lot of faith. Um, looking forward to the next game because we know how much better we need to be and how much better we're going to be. When you're coming off a game like Indiana where the Pacers have shot the lights out of it and then the Lakers open hitting like 70%, is there any thought of like here we go again and you kind of drop in the head or anything like that? No, you just got to stay with it. You got to stay with it. You know, you know teams going to make shots. They're going to make runs. It's all about how you sustain it, how you could um, throw throw that next punch back at them and understand, you know, when you need to stop, when you need a bucket, and just keep building the fourth quarter kind of proved to you guys that if you do play that defense the way you should, yeah. it'll work? Yeah, without a doubt. And like I said, you know, we show strides of it. We show quarters. We show a couple possessions of it. And like I said, as, as more comfortable we get, you know, even with myself. All right, well, how about a guy who didn't necessarily have as many points as DeMar DeRozan, Dante Cunningham, but hey, he was a great glue guy. Here's what he had to say. <laughs> um, they're a great organization. <laughs> Second straight win against this Lakers team, man. I mean, is this something this team brings out something in y'all? Went overtime up there, come back 13, 14 down now. Um, every team, you know, brings out something in us. You know, we have to, you know, continue to work and get better. Um, we're not gonna be able to always come back from deficits like that. You know, we have to come out and strike like we did in the second half. Um, we have to keep our intensity up and not let it. You know, we'll start with the intensity. I should say. What was the biggest difference in the defense in the second half and the first half, especially in the fourth quarter? Communication. Um, we started out, I had a, a lot of uh, miscommunication cues with uh, other teammates and things of that nature. Um, you know, once we got that under control and really just settled down, that's when everything just started clicking and working. You relish that challenge going up against LeBron? Of course. I mean, who wouldn't? You know, the, the opportunity to... You know, they, he starts you just for those two games. You know, well, that's that's almost everything. You know what I mean? That, that's a that's a big accomplishment. That's a big goal. Um, you know, that's a that's kind of what I hang my hat on. What's the approach when you know, you're coming off a game where the other team shot the lights out of the gym and then the Lakers start off hitting seventy percent, um, and then you're level fourteen? What's the approach? How do you sort of whittle your way back into the game after after that point? Um, you know, after our previous game. You know, you just got to kind of go back, watch film, understand what you did wrong, um, watch it, get to the next one. They came out hot. You know, now you just got to, you're in a dogfight. You got to continue to fight and continue to um, chip away at it. Can you guys see progress that you're getting better and starting to mesh a little bit more with each other? Definitely, every game. Um, even from the first half to the second half, we have uh, we had great competitiveness, and then it transferred over to great competitiveness to better communication, you know, just a better.